Hi guys and welcome back to Birmingham Fan TV with a very natural looking me and a very natural looking James. <laughs> so this is our... Jesus Christ. What? I'm not natural. I look beautiful today. No, I don't. Sure. So. There's more important matters at hand. <laughs> Who have we got this weekend? We have Preston. Preston at home. Preston North End. I was gonna say, not an easy game. But I say, it's not an easy game every damn preview. And every time, it's not an easy game. But it never is. What what game is easy in this... What game is easy it's in It's the championship. championship. It's, the, it's the best league in the world. It's not like the Premier League where you can call certain results. A little bit about last game. Gotta cover it a little bit. Good performance because of the rigidness and... Resilience. The fact that we were resilient and we were very strong at the back, back to our usual organised selves. And we scored two goals away from home. I don't, I don't think it was a great performance, but I don't think it was the worst um, overall. I did say at one point to James, this is really, really, really bad, the worst we've been all season. But you know what? We carried on. We got another goal and we finished it 2-0. Yeah. Um, so, you know, some days you're going to have those games where it's not a pretty result. Yeah, but you'd rather you'd rather play you'd rather play scrappy you'd rather and play win 2-0 win. than than play well like we did again, like first half against Hull and then end up drawing 3-3. Three, three. Look, it, I'd just, we'd, ra we'd rather marry playing well and scoring lots of goals and winning, but you, sometimes you're not going to get that. So we have had that this season, but um, it was a big three points and that, you know, breaks that rut of, especially on the, of three games without winning. Yeah, especially after the Villa game, I think the players really had massive. something to prove and they were resilient. For and... confidence, massive to for confidence. Yeah. Yeah. It's huge. I think so. Yeah. Now on to Preston. Preston have actually um they had a Oh that's Ipswich, wasn't it? No. <laughs> I was gonna say they had a battling oh, game on, against on. Bristol City. Oh. They didn't. Um but that that win on Wednesdays left us four points off the playoffs. I mean, we can still dream, can't we? Until the EFL knocks some points off us. But in the meantime, we can dream. Um, Enjoy it while no, it lasts. <laughs> no, I, think, I think playoffs are a little bit out of our reach this season. But let's try and hit that top half finish, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, statistics for this game. We'll throw a few statistics your way, as we like to do. Emily? I'll let Emily well, do the statistics. Okie dokie. So, okay. So, head-to-head. -head, Blues versus Preston. Blues have won 34 of the matches. Uh, we've they, we've drawn 23, and Preston have actually won 36. So all in all, Preston have a better record than we do. A little bit of digging there. However, last three results at Preston, St Andrews. Yeah, the last three results were 3-1 to Preston, but then before that it was two draws, both at 2-2. Two -two. So they're a bit of a bogey team for us. They are, really. aren't I, they? I, I remember the the 2-2 two -two at the back end of the 15-16 season. It was horrible because we were two 0 up at home, and we could have still got playoffs, ish. <laughs> and we just threw it again away. It was such an e we were winning until like the last twenty minutes, and it was just, it was a crap game and just Preston. So hopefully, uh, no offense to Preston, but you're 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 a horrible team to play against. <laughs> so hopefully this weekend won't be like that. Hopefully this weekend will be very exciting. No. Um, they worry me a bit, Preston, because despite sitting in seventeenth, I believe. After having a torrid start to the season. Yeah, despite despite sitting in 17th place, um, their last three results have been rather impressive, to say the least. Um, they 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 won 1-0 away at Bristol City uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, followed by a 4-1 home win at the weekend against Blackburn, which I know is a bit of a Lancashire sort of derby. Uh, and then... A 1-1 draw at home to Middlesbrough, who we know this season have been very, very hard to get anything off this season. So, unbeaten in... I, well, they're unbeaten in the last three. Do you know what that says um, to me, though? That the fact that they've played Blackburn, who have been incredible this been, season. They've been in good form. And they, they have been one of... I did say at the beginning of the season that Blackburn were going to do well when they came back up. And I am worried about Blackburn. I, I am. They are a team I'm keeping my eye on at the moment. But also the fact that they drew to Middlesbrough. Now, that shows the resilience that they have at the back. Um, they haven't conceded many goals. They've conceded two goals in their last three games. How many goals have we conceded in the last three games? <laughs> Seven. Exactly. So what that says to me is that Preston are good defensively. 
Now, to me, what that means is that we're going to have to try even harder to get these goals because they're going to be really good at the back. They are also quite good going forward because in their last three games, they have scored six. So that's on average two per game. So we should be looking at them as a dangerous team. That they're, Although they're down there in the league, they are someone to look out for. They, I think our problem is at the minute as well that we're not quite a, a ruthless in front of goal. I don't think we've been as effective in front of goal recently. We and, hit our peak in October, didn't we? Well, I, I don't think it's that. I think all it was is we showed that we've got the ability when we are on our game, when we are ruthless, we can score three or four. But the problem is we've been very wasteful recently. Uh, Shea hitting the post at the weekend could have been a different game. Uh, we did squander a few against Hull in the first half. And last night I thought we were really wasteful at times on the, on the break. So uh, we've got to start taking chances. And... Um, it was good that we didn't leak any goals uh, Wednesday night. Uh, that puts us in good stead for the next two home games. Uh, look at Preston's team. Uh, I know that over the last sort of two transfer windows, they've they've had a lot of players that have either been pinched or you know unsettled because of rumours. Because they 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 they've done well over the last few years. I think they've overachieved in the last two seasons. They did very well last and season, didn't they? Actually. I think they're they're a good team. To be honest, I think they're a really good team. And Obviously, they always provide difficult opposition. Uh, so, looking at their last lineup against Middlesbrough, they had Rudd in goal, a back four of Clark, uh, Story, Huttington, and Earl. A midfield two. It looks like they lined up with sort of like a four-two-three-one-four-five-one. Uh, midfield two of Pearson and Gallagher, and then uh, a three in front of them. A midfield three, sort of in front of the back, so in front of the sort of holding two, they got Barkhausen, Brown, and Barker, and then obviously <laughs> Malt up front. Um, obviously, the, the the standout target men for me are sort of uh, Brown and Barkhausen, and and Pearson. I know is a is a bit of a, a hard nut in midfield, but also a very good player as well, very technical player. So they've got a lot of ability in that team, and. You know, given the chance, they're gonna hurt you. We can, we we we're very good at home. We can com combat teams. We we control games better at home than we do away from home. And you know, we're gonna have to do this against a Preston team, who who evidently can go away from home and win, uh, and they can control games against the you know the better teams in this league. So this is gonna be a tough one for Blues, I think. And looking at our team, I can't see much changing, to be honest, in terms of the the lineup. Can you? I can't. Um, at the time of filming, we haven't heard any new news about the team. We haven't heard if Hot is coming back. Um, I think that he will not even be on the bench for this one again. I thought he wasn't gonna be on the bench on Wednesday. He and I still think that he's got a bit left to to come back on. So I think You're he'll be. Him. No, well, I think. He is probably one of our best players. So I think he'll be back on the bench for Bristol City. So forget Hossa for a minute. I think we'll be looking at the exact same team. Yeah. Our defence definitely picked up where they should... They, much, they made they, they were a lot better than what they were against Villa. Surprisingly, we actually looked better in the second half when Harding went to right back and Colin went to right mid. We did. Um, but I wouldn't I wouldn't want to mess around with, with, with stuff... Uh, you know why? Why change a winning team? Sure, well? I love it when he does that because it, to me, it really shows that Monk is just analysing the the other team and showing that that is where they are coming. Well, at they were us. a physical team, so to stick a bigger a bigger player in in Harden at fullback, two uh, defensive more, minded players. More high. Yeah, well, yeah, and that, yeah, Colang, you know, is good uh, defensively as well, and and Harden has pace as well. So you know, they they weren't going to get in around that side with pace. So. Yeah, no changes for Blues. I can't see it happening as we don't even have the team news yet either. Score predictions then. 2-2. Mm. 2-2? Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. Two, two. I want to say we're going to win, but looking at Preston's last few results, looking at the amount of goals we've been le leaking, I know we got a clean sheet, but mm. how many have we had this season really, clean sheets? Um, I think it's going to be 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. No pressure on me, seeing as I got it right on Wednesday night. No pressure. Well, I normally get it right. No, you, you haven't got it right in weeks. I did go on a run so, of getting so it right. So it's my turn to get it right. <laughs> I'm going to get it right again, and I'm going to go for 2-0 again, and I think we're going to win 2-0. I did say to you after the Villa game, I turned to you and said, watch us go and beat the next three teams. Watch us go and he win the next that. three games. We won the first one. We've got two home games now. I thought Millwall was the toughest of the three games. We went and won that. 
Preston, who are in fantastic form, but you've got to look at our home form as well. How good we are at home. Bit of a fortress. I think if the fans are behind us and the team's on it, 2 0. I think goal scorers. Uh, Shea was unlucky not to get his goal, so I can see Shea scoring. And I can see like Michael Kifton Bell scoring. I don't oh, know yeah. why I can see a Kifton Bell goal. It's the kind of game that he could score from, sort of like a tap in at the back post or something like that. Also, but, can I just say, my dream came true on Wednesday night when I saw Gary and Craig play together. It was the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Shout out to the Craig. Anyway, <laughs> guys, the we have. That is your Preston preview, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to leave a like down below. If you did enjoy it, that would be so helpful. Leave a like for Emily as well. The no makeup, go on, please. <laughs> God's sake. Girls no makeup, guys. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know what your team is, please. Let me know, um, and I will get back to you. And we can have a discussion down in the comments below. Um, and don't to forget to subscribe if you haven't already to see all of the Birmingham City content. We're so, so close to 500, You guys. know what? We started in August. It's nearly Christmas. We've nearly got 500 subs. We never thought that we'd grow this much so quick. But you know what, guys? We are absolutely loving it. And we just want to get bigger and bigger and bigger and give you the best content that there is out there. So please, subscribe. Let us know what you think. And let us know what you think we can improve as on. As long as you guys are enjoying it, we're enjoying it. So um, if we don't see you on Saturday for the vlog, which we have a few of you come up and say hello recently. Um, if you do, come over and say hello. If not, you will see me for the Preston review, um, which I'm sure I will be reviewing another win. And then you will be seeing me for the uh, Bristol City preview. preview. But guys, thanks so much for your time. Have a good week, and let's hope for another win at the weekend. Keep right on. Keep right on.